What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna show you guys the best legendary and reputation farm in Destiny 2 Witch Queen. And if you guys wanna see more D2 content in the form of guides, class builds, weapon and armor recommendations for PVE and PVP, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any videos. Real quick, huge, huge shout out to Reddit user back on D2, who is the one who actually found this farm. We greatly appreciate it. I will put a link to their original video in the description box below. Let me start this video off by saying you need to do this farm now. Most importantly, this farm will help you gain 400 reputation per run with Finch, which will upgrade your reputation with him a lot faster than any other means currently as of this video. Ranking Fitch up to rank 30 unlocks the Throne World Engram upgrade, which increases rewards from Throne World Engrams. Each Engram will contain a Throne World weapon that you have already acquired, and it will have a random roll, and a stack of Resonant Alloy, which is pretty much needed for crafting weapons. On top of the reputation, you also get legendary weapons, and some of them actually do have the red border, which are also needed for crafting weapons. Armor, and both legendary armor and weapons that you don't need, you can actually turn into legendary shards. And then you can also get glimmer from this farm as well. This farm has been out for a few days now, and reset is in fact tomorrow, so Bungie just may patch this then. Depending on when you see this video, it may already be patched. If it's not patched, well, continue to do it and rank up as fast as you can. Okay, so first off, you want to head to Savathun's Throne World and rank up to level 13 with the local vendor named Finch. Level 13 will unlock Deep Sight Upgrade Tier 3. This is the highest upgrade needed to unveil things in Savathun's Throne World. You can unlock this faster by doing bounties, the Witch Queen missions, quests, patrols, public events, and lost sectors in Savathun's throne world. Without this upgrade, you cannot open the two chests for this farm, so it is important that you actually get it. Once you reach rank 13 with Finch and unlock Deep Sight Upgrade 3, you want to make sure that you have a sword that has Eager Edge or you need to have the exotic World Line Zero. One of these two swords will help you with the jump that you are going to do, and believe me, it is a very, very far jump. Unfortunately, I'm actually doing this on my Hunter, and it'll take me a few more seconds than if you were on a Titan or a Warlock, since both the Titan and Warlocks can jump high and a far distance. Titans and Warlocks can actually jump across this easily with one of the two swords, while Hunters, well, we need to catch a ledge. Or at least I do, because I am terrible at jumping. Once you have the Eager Edge Sword in your inventory or the Warline Zero, jump on your Sparrow and follow me and do as I do. Also, you need to bring your Sparrow with you to the area we are going in in order to do this farm for faster runs. After you get both chests, it's time to head back to the Sparrow and zoom into another instance and then rinse and repeat until you get to rank 30 with Finch. If you want to get a few more runs in, you can actually rally a public event flag before heading to this area. Oh, and don't forget to empty your inventory. The Postmaster can only hold so much. If you guys have any other questions, please let me know down in the comment section below and I will be happy to answer them.
I hope this video actually helped you guys out, and if it did, let me know down in the comment section below. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.